No, I don't waste no time. Well, what's going on guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel my name is joshua daniel george a social media marketing online coach i have my own social media marketing at called brampaneer here in the netherlands and i also have my own education business where i teach you guys on how to do the same so how to start your own agency how to get your first clients how to automate it scale it get results for your clients so that you too can live life on your own terms and this is a question that i think i've already answered in in, you know some form or another on this channel previously but my opinion has slowly changed over time and it's regarding the, the knowledge that you need you know with Facebook ads so as a agency owner do you need to have an adequate amount of knowledge about Facebook ads and there's people on one side of the spectrum that basically say you own the business you are the agency owner you do not need to know the ins and outs of Facebook ads because you're not going to be the one that's going to be running the ads and then there's people on the other side of the spectrum basically saying that as a business owner, you should have adequate knowledge of everything that is going on in the agency so that, you know, when push comes to shove, you actually know what's going on. You know if the media buyer is getting results and so on and so forth. And like I said, um, the opinions are divided on this. I was very much under the impression that as an agency owner, you do not necessarily need to have the knowledge and the know-how regarding Facebook um, and the way I structured my agency back in the day was um, I own the business, I focused primarily on the front end, so the outreach and sales. Um, it got to a point where we did actually automate the outreach, but the sales, etc., was basically what I did. And then I also mentioned it on the calls. I basically said, you know, I'm not actually the person that's going to be running the ads. So, you know, what I'll do is I'll get my ads guy to look at it. If he thinks that we can do a good job for you, then, you know, obviously we can take you on as a client. If not, then sorry, you know, we're, we're going to have to move on. And that is how I positioned myself. Um, and then what I basically did was I had two free media buyers um, on like on standby, basically, that did, you know, the, the fulfillment for me. So they did um, for lead generation clients. I had one media buyer for uh, e-com clients. I had another media buyer. And then basically they had a set fee per uh, ret ret you know basically their retainer was like a set fee every single month and then I used to basically take that into consideration when negotiating with this potential client so to give you guys a brief example for uh, ecom we had a media buyer that was $600 a month and that is roughly 400 to 500 pounds a month and then basically when I negotiated my fees with the client I used to take that into consideration and try and make that costs so the, the cost of the fulfillment roughly 50 percent so i used to try and aim for a retainer of a thousand pounds a month or more so then you outsource it and you can take 50 percent of the profits that basically stays into the business so that is how i used to do it and the only issue that i had was that i wasn't really sure whether or not my media buyers were doing a good job and there was also a instance where my media buyer was on a sort of annual leave so he, you know he left to travel back to his home country um, bear in mind you know these people are not someone people that I see physically these were people that I met virtually I hired them virtually um, one was in Brazil and was originally from Portugal and then we also had one in Scotland yeah and we also actually, actually had one in the US as well at one point uh, but like I said you know they were on annual leave and one of our clients wanted to get on a call so what i used to do was i used to get on a call with our media buyer you know get a bit of an understanding of okay where we're currently at what we're currently doing what the next steps are and then i would regurgitate what our media buyer told to me i'll regurgitate to the client and i'll tell the client okay this is where we're currently at this is what the next steps are etc but this time i couldn't actually go to my media buyer because he was not responsive you know he was actually traveling to his his home country and he had no internet etc so you know, there was like, he was MIA for four days, basically. And in those four days, my client wanted to speak to us, you know, you know, on part, me, basically, on behalf of the agency to know what was going on. So I went into the business manager and I literally had no idea what the plan was, what was good and what was bad. I didn't know what we were optimizing for. I didn't know, you know, if we were on track. You know, I, I had no idea, literally no idea. And I used to briefly, because our media buyer used to do the reporting as well, I used to go through the reporting just to see, you know, what he mentions or what he says, but I couldn't make heads or tails of it. I just had no idea what was going on. And that is when I sort of realized, bear in mind, this is like 2018, this is like two years ago, 
from that point, I sort of realized, okay, you know, if I want to continue down this route, um, even if I'm not going to be running the ads, I do need a certain amount of knowledge on Facebook ads, just so, first of all, my co my calls, my sales calls will be better because I'll have more confidence, and so I can figure out what is actually going on in terms of, you know, the fulfillment. So from that moment onwards, um, I was still, you know, basically the, the, the structure of the business still stayed the same, so I still had media buyers doing the fulfillment, but I slowly started to gain knowledge on Facebook ads myself, so that, like I said, you know, if this ever happened again, I could hop on the call and say, listen, our media buyer is doing X, Y, and Z. This is how we've structured it, and this is what the next steps are. Or let's say, you know, for example, I do want to actually do it myself, which I currently am doing. Um, I know what to do and what the next steps are. Then, like I said, over time, I found it difficult because I knew that I, you know, basically outsourced it to someone else. I found it difficult to concentrate on for example, Facebook ads courses, coaching sessions, etc. So I, I would buy a course on Facebook ads, I'll go through it. And you know when you really like you'd invest into yourself, you soak up the knowledge, you're you make notes, etc. And you know, you're going through everything. I, I just couldn't get myself into that frame of mind. I couldn't get myself to focus on these courses, even though I just invested money into them, because I knew that at the end of the day, if I didn't understand what the person that's explaining it to me is saying, it doesn't matter because I'm not doing the fulfillment. I'm not actually you know getting the results for the clients. So I sort of eased through a few little courses. My knowledge on a scale of one to 10 went from like two to let's say six out of 10, roughly. So again, you know, I understood the basics. I understood um, that you don't optimize for page likes and stuff like that if you want conversions. You know, basically basic, basic knowledge. I had no idea about optimizing for a certain conversion. I didn't know how to set up custom events, etc. But I got by because I knew that, okay, at the end of the day, I'm not actually the one running the ads. All I need is an, a basic understanding of what was going on. Then uh, we basically, I teamed up with uh, Colin Dice, who is my sort of, business partner on a particular project. We, we landed an extremely large client where we hired office space even, and we started basically working almost as a consultant in this business. And we were, one of our tasks basically was to get a, um, you know, get the campaigns profitable and then teach their team on how to do it. And under the guidance of Colin, I really, really learned a lot regarding Facebook ads. Um, and the way it was structured is we hired office space from them. So extremely large retainer. We started to think about team building and you know scaling up to seven figures, etc. And their building, because it's it's all media buyers, so the entire building is just full of people, you know, working on the laptops, etc. Some people are working remote, some people are working from home, some people are, you know, in a different country, etc. But because it's no longer so back in the day they bought massive office spaces because they had, you know, the money etc. to invest and all of the equipment, all the paperwork, etc. was all in these buildings. But over time, because everything's getting digitized, you no longer need massive printers. We don't no longer have like computer screens that go like back a meter, etc. You know, they did not need as much space as they originally, you know, bought. So one of their floors was just completely empty. And we said, listen, you know, how much do you, uh, you know, can we, first of all, we asked, we, you know, can we make this floor part of the deal? So, um, cause we, we made it out as if it would benefit them if we worked in the same building as them. Uh, which unfortunately they said, listen, you know, we are tied to, you know, certain legal requirements and contracts, etc. We can't just rent out uh, or give out a, um, a an entire floor of the building for free. So in the end, we ended up paying, um, I think it was, we had like a lease where it was like 5k a month rent for the entire floor of that building, um, which in hindsight for the size of the, basically the size of the floor, the size of the space we had in that location. So in Amsterdam, smack bang in the center, it was worth it, but looking back, we did not need that much space. And, you know, we were literally all like basically set up in a small corner and we had the rest of the floor just like basically there. And um, in the end, you know, they asked, you know, can the Google team come down with us, etc. cetera, um, because they were also assisting with, you know, the projects, etc. So they also came into our floor. And in the end, we were like, why are we paying 5K a month for, you know, basically a part of a building that we're not actually even using and utilizing? But anyway, I digress. Um, on that sort of project, I really, really learned a lot about Facebook ads because I was working with Colin Dice, who is, you know, uh, an extremely good media buyer, especially for sweepstakes and affiliate marketing. And 
he sort of taught me like on the job, you know, because I'm in the business manager every single day. He taught me the ropes. He showed me exactly, you know, where everything needs to go, how to optimize, how to even organize columns, like stuff like that I did not know. So he taught me all that. And from that point onwards, I slowly started to build myself up, you know, build my uh, media buying skills up to a point where I can now confidently say that I am you know, one of the better ones here, um, you know, in and around my sort of uh, network and social circle. Uh, obviously, you know, there are a few people that are far better than I am. But in terms of, you know, getting results, etc., I am extremely confident in my abilities. And it uh, basically what this has done for me, it has made me more confident in the sales calls. And I don't mention any metrics. I don't say, oh, you need to, you know, make sure your ROAS is this. And, you know, I don't mention anything like that because in the calls, I very much focus on relationship building and uh, basically getting down to the emotional state of the clients. So I ask them, you know, what is currently going on in your business? Where do you aspire to be in your business? How come you're not no longer there? You know, I really focus on those pain points and those aspirations. And I basically position myself as the bridge from A to B. So from the desired situation, eh, from the current situation, sorry, to the desired situation, that is what I focus on. So I don't mention any metrics, but just having that knowledge in the back of your mind really, really helps with the sales calls because I know I'm the expert and I know that hypothetically speaking, if this guy were to hit me with an extremely specific question on Facebook ads, I can answer it there and then because I'm the media buyer. I know exactly what to do in any kind of situation regarding Facebook ads. And it's just made me all know and more, uh, my closing rate has increased. You know, it's made me all, all know better at sales because I have that confidence. So just by knowing, having that knowledge, even though I'm not, you know, providing any value regarding metrics, etc. Because I have that knowledge, I am more confident in the sales calls. I've closed more deals and also with higher retainers because I know deep down that I'm not like scamming these people. I can get those results, you know, and otherwise I wouldn't take them on. So whether or not you should have an adequate amount of Facebook ad experience or knowledge, I think you do. So rather than just thinking, okay, I don't need to know this because I'm outsourcing it to someone else, still you know, go into the business manager, figure out what's going on. If you have a media buyer, because again, I'm not saying that you need to do this yourself. I do it myself just for, you know, for two reasons. At first, I wanted to just really, really focus on how to get results. So with that job, with that client, I was doing the media buying myself and that sort of, you know, um, flowed over to other clients and I started realizing that I could get better results for my clients than my media buyers could. And I'm paying these guys to do, a, you know, to do this job, but I can do it better. So at first the goal was, okay, get better at Facebook ads, get better results, um, gain more knowledge, and then eventually just outsource it again or build a team around it. I'm actually really, really enjoying the process. And now I've positioned myself more as, as someone on the back end as well as the owner of the business. So yes, I am sort of working in the business again, but I'm just focused on back end. You know, the front end is completely automated. We've got Elliot, who is the head of operations, who oversees, you know, most of the processes that are, you know, going on in the agency. And he's also very much uh, focused on the sales. With that said, quick mention, because he mentioned this last time to me. Yes, you know, he is a good media buyer. Uh, so Elliot, if you're watching this, yes, you know, I do acknowledge your skills and expertise with regards to Facebook ads. And we both know what clients you you are basically running and helping out with, and we all know the ROAS that you're getting for us. So I appreciate you for that, mate. Uh, but with regards to the agency as a whole, like I said, outreach and uh, sales, etc., is sort of automated slash outsourced. And then I'm very much focused on the back end and getting the results for the clients. And I enjoy it like this. You know, I feel no pressure, no stress, or anything like that. Where I used to sometimes feel a bit of stress and pressure when I had to do the sales calls, etc., because I am naturally introverted and I don't really enjoy doing sales calls. So now I feel like every day I just get to do what I love. You know, I go through the business managers, check the ads. I'm getting good results for my clients, which is also very fulfilling for me. You know, it gives me a good feeling about my agency and about the clients that we are serving. And at the end of the day, you know, it's all about relationship building, making sure the clients are happy, getting that win-win situation and just growing along with these clients as well. Um, and this is all because I am now sort of working on the back end, actually, uh, have the knowledge on Facebook ads and I'm actually running the ads for myself. But you do not necessarily need to do the ads yourself. If you do want to outsource and build a team, that is completely fine. But just make sure that you have an adequate amount of knowledge. So you need to basically be completely honest with yourself and just think on a scale of one to 10, where am I currently at in terms of knowledge on Facebook ads or knowledge on that specific niche or that specific client? If it's less than six out of 10, just, you know, in your spare time, you know, if you get an extra hour every single day, just go through the business manager, 
make yourself familiar with all the metrics, make yourself familiar with how to get results for these clients. And even though it's not necessarily you that is getting the results, just make sure that you know what is going on in what particular moment in time. Even if you just ask your media buyers um, to give you a bit of an hour update every single week on what to do and why they're doing it and how they're doing it as well, just so you can understand what is happening. And if you just focus on one niche or one sort of particular way of getting um, results, so for example, e-commerce for meal prep companies, then just focus on that and just make sure that you understand that and that you nail the whole flow that you know exactly what is going on in what moment in time. And if something does drop off or you know lose uh, let's say the cost per pages goes up that you know exactly what to do to get that back down and you know increase that return and ad spend but anyway hope you got something out of this hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to leave it with a thumbs up it really does help this channel grow and please make sure that you subscribe to this channel as well if you like content like this if you want to know more about the ins and outs of running an agency please make sure that you subscribe to this channel um, you know, first of all, it really does help this channel grow. It shows YouTube as well that, you know, you want to see content like this that actually helps you and your agency moving forward. And I've noticed, you know, from the analytics, I've seen that 60% of the people that watch my channel aren't actually subscribed. So like I said, if in any way I've helped you or, you know, provide value to you, then make sure that you do subscribe because like I said, you know, it's for free and it really just helped me and my channel out as well. I just want to quickly interrupt this video and basically mention to you guys that I have a free social media marketing course and you can literally download this course if you are subscribed to my youtube channel so basically what i've done is i have created a custom audience with google ads uh, for those of you that are subscribed to my channel and you guys will see a pre-roll advertisement on one of my videos where i basically give you the direct link to download this course so it's an unpublished link on teachable which you will only see if you are subscribed to my channel so if you want a free social media marketing course all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and then you will see my advertisements so without further ado let's hop back into the video and if the channel does grow then i'm able to basically help more people uh you know get results for the agency and uh you know start their own business as well so uh you know that'll be very good and very appreciative of me if you could subscribe but for now i'm going to wrap up this video here thank you everyone for watching this video so far comment down below what you'd like to see from this channel next and i'll see you all in the next video